Do I need cash? Do you want to get ready for the Halloween party? <gasps> oh, Johnny Cash, you look so handsome. You, yes, you are the bestest bat. Oh my gosh, so spooky. <laughs> so cute. What do you think? What do you think about your costume? Huh? Oh, you look so good. You're an angel, sir, with bat wings. Okay, okay. Hi there. Welcome to the vintage girl next door. But what's this? Why does Lacey look so sad? Oh no! It appears she's having trouble getting into the Halloween spirit. Looks like Lacey is going to fix that right away. Here she is picking up the phone to call her friend Jennifer from a vintage vanity. Well, with those two teaming up, they'll be sure to come up with a nifty idea. Hello? Oh, hey Lacey! Are you feeling like your Halloween spirit needs a good kick in the pants? Oh, boy does it ever. I really wish you lived closer, and then that way we could get together and have, like, a spooky party. Heck, let's still do it. Let's have a Halloween cocktail party. We just have to get a little creative. That's just the bee's knees. I love that idea. Yeah, a virtual party. Oh my gosh, you know what we should do? We should send each other little party packages, a little surprise, a little boo in a box. All right, I'm in. I'm so excited. Oh boy, it looks like Trick or Treat has started early. What Halloween goodies could her friend have sent? Really quick, as I'm opening this box, I wanted to remind you that I am hosting a sweepstakes and I will be giving away three adorable brooches from Lipstick and Chrome, a vintage cookbook, and a $25 gift card to Unique Vintage. You're gonna wanna check the description box. You can use my link, download Disney Emoji Blitz, get to level 20, screenshot that, and tag me on Instagram. So good luck, and don't forget about the sweepstakes. I can't even believe all the cute stuff that Jen sent. Can you even get over it? Look how cute. I'm so excited to find a recipe. Let's decorate the table and we'll use some of the adorable things that Jen sent. And let's take a look at this recipe book. See if we can find an appetizer that will work for the spooky party. The appetizer that I chose is the olive cheese puff recipe. We're going to need 24 pitted ripe olives, scallions, flour, cheddar cheese, salt and paprika, and butter. And chop up the scallions. And I used black olives because I don't like green olives, but I'm... The recipe didn't specify, but I am guessing that they meant green olives, but listen, I don't like them, so we're going with black. <laughs> and then we are stuffing the chopped up scallions into the olive. And now I am using a vintage gadget you may recognize, the Mooly Salad Maker, to grade my cheddar cheese. As you can see, it's working like a charm. I definitely should have put like a wet paper towel under my cutting board because it's sliding around a little bit. But it still worked great. Now I'm going to melt the butter and we are combining one cup of cheese with a quarter cup of butter. Softened melted butter. <laughs> Just gonna give that a good stir. Time 
until it's nice and combined and then we're adding a cup of flour. I just added a little bit at a time and stirred as I went. It was very strange this dough, cheese dough concoction. <laughs> Just trying to get that flour nice and worked in. And it did get kind of dry. I was a little worried about it being able to mold together, but it ended up okay. Then we're adding in a quarter teaspoon salt and a half a teaspoon of paprika. As you can see, it does look pretty dry. Kind of feel like maybe I needed a little bit more butter. And uh, now I am molding a little bit of the dough around each of the olives. And it ended up working okay. It I think the olives I got were quite large because it I ran out of dough before I ran out of olives but I'm just kind of flattening it and mashing it <laughs> around till it covers the olive And there we have it. And we're just gonna keep going and doing the same thing to the rest of our olives. Kind of took a minute <laughs> to get this part done, I'm not gonna lie. And there we go. Now the recipe says to chill them in the fridge. Excuse me, sir. Chill them in the fridge for three to four hours. I did not wait that long, but I waited a little while. <laughs> I gave them a good hour in the fridge. And now I'm going to pop those in the oven. 400 degrees. I did preheat this by the way. I gave it a second <laughs> to preheat. And putting those in and setting my timer for 15 minutes. Time to pull them out. They looked pretty good, kind of golden brown. The bottoms were a little darker brown, but not burned or anything. They ended up pretty good, but it was hard for me to tell. I'm like, mm. is it done? I think so. <laughs> and then I am plating them onto this beautiful glass dish that Jen sent me. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. It is glorious with all the starbursts. I love it. And now this is my attempt to make spooky jack-o'-lantern faces with Easy Cheese on Ritz crackers for your amusement. <laughs> Listen, I am good at a lot of things. Decorating crackers with Easy Cheese is not one of those things. But I did my best. And that's what counts, right? <laughs> now, time to pick an outfit. I chose this vintage dress that I thrifted, a cape that I made, cute witch's hat from Amazon, brooch from lipstick and chrome, and some thrifted shoes. We just have to fluff our hair and get ready for the party. I thought this brooch from Lipstick and Chrome was 
perfect for a spooky cocktail party. Could not be more perfect. And here is the finished look. Also have a spiderweb necklace that was a gift. All right, let's taste this recipe. Let's see how the olive cheese puffs turned out. Should I just go for it all in one bite? It's kind of big. Okay, they're not bad. I feel like the dough part, maybe it needs more cheese or maybe like cream cheese mixed in with it would be good or dunking them in sauce maybe? I don't know. It seems like they're missing a little something and it seems like the dough part is like too much. But I don't hate them. They are tasty, they're cute. It's a fun like Halloween little appetizer treat. So all in all, I would say very fun one to try. The presentation is very cute. I'm happy with them. Your place looks amazing. I love it. Ooh, that looks delicious. Can I try one? Okay. Mm. Mm, so good. I thought it was gonna be more weird than that, but this is delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this fun spooky cocktail party with myself and a vintage vanity. Make sure you head over to her channel and check out her setup for the cocktail party and see the recipe for this yummy spooky cocktail. Thanks again for watching. I hope that you are having a fun spooky season and that wherever you are in the world, you're feeling safe and feeling loved. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Now, before you go, make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Toodaloo. Can I cash? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Or a limp noodle?